Hi, Lee. Hey, David. How you doing? I'm excellent. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. Pretty well. So, what's going on with you? Uh, not too much. Tomorrow, uh, the fiance and I fly out, and we get to do the tasting of the food for our wedding. So we're pretty. That's pretty exciting. It is the only free part of a wedding is the <laughs> tasting of the food. Just keep asking for more just all day. Whether you can eat more or not, just keep asking for it. Yeah, I set up, tried to set up a cake tasting. There's another place that we're going to go to that doesn't do tastings, but has all the stuff available that they would have. Okay. And we're thinking of potentially pies. So I'm down for pies. Pies are good. I like pies too. We're worried about refrigeration though, because mm. banana cream, coconut cream, you can't have out for too long. And we don't know if we can use the fridges at the venue for that. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Good thing to ask about. It will be a thing that we ask because I would like some Thanksgiving style pecan pie. Ooh, yeah. Get a lot of pecan pie. Just for me. It's... How about you? You're back in your neck of the woods after your vacation. Yes, I just got back from, uh, well, not just got back, but I, I just came back from Portland, um, which was a lot of fun. We went, Me and Jason went to the Tulip Fe Festival, which was very pretty and very colorful. Um, but we also went to an alpaca farm which was so much fun um it was actually, pet them. yes i got to pet them and feed them it was actually kind of funny because uh jason actually found it i'm like we're we're going that's it like we're we're going um so we went and like as we were driving in i'm like i, I want to feed him i want to feed him so uh the cool the guy w guy was really cool um i got to learn more about alpaca and their upbringing and kind of what they gotta do for it, it all and it was a lot of fun and it, what i didn't know a couple of the pacos were like award-winning apacas like cross-country like first place winners so like that was like, really it alpacas like they're more famous than you alpacas yes yes pretty much so um but it was really cool because like a lot of people like a lot of the paco yarn is like kind of after like sought after like some people like um, because they only, um, one thing I learned is, like, they only, like, shear the wools, like, the alpacas, like, once or twice a year. So it's not that, ma like, not that much. So people kind of call dibs on, like, once or twice, like, out. Um, like, there was this one alpaca that was, like, like silver gray and, like, pe apparently, like, people, the next, like, three shearings already were, like, Call, like called for so i love that i said the self guy has a following you need to be on a wait list to get it it was really cool i mean like that's why like i'm gonna definitely try and go to more places like this just like in travels because it was, like it was so interesting to hear about everything and it was like so much fun to um like see them and all that so but i didn't come back empty-handed like i got some yarn of course but okay. Um, I also got some fiber, uh, which is already in the mail to you. This is very exciting. Yeah. I, am, I think I can accept your challenge. Yes. Now, is there an Iron Chef rule of uh, I can only do a certain weight of yarn? Am I working for yardage? No, look, I just, I just thought it would be fun. Like, I, you know, like I got some yarn, so I thought, like, I had to share in the excitement of getting yarn. So, like, I got some fiber. Um, I got, like, what? I think I got, like, brownish yarn. So. Well, I mean, I know that you put your name on the wait list for the other alpaca, so I yeah. get it. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, that that's also the nice thing about, cool thing about the farm. We'll go back to that in a second. Like, they had raw, like, everything, like, everything from raw fiber uh, to finish, like, sweaters. Wow. And, like, everything in between. So, like, they had, like, the raw yarn, the batting, like, the roving, the yarn, and actual, like, finished products of various sorts. They have a couple of toys and just, like, some, sw like, sweaters and stuff that they sell. So it's, like, a kind of a full range of products. So just depending on what you're there for, you can get 
I mean, I love how you can get every aspect of your alpaca needs satisfied. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'll, I'm gonna put the um, details in the comment and, like, in the description below, but, like, they... Like, again, like, I never want went to, like, just a straight-up farm before with, like, alpacas. Um, so, like, is he just deals with everything. So... The difference between an alpaca and a llama? Are they the same thing? No, I, I think they're different. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure they're different because I think alpacas are more aggressive. Oh, okay. It was actually kind of funny because, like, you know, he gave me, like, a little baggie to, like, feed in, like, one... They were definitely a little bit more, like, fight... Not fighting, but, like, they would, like, push each other's, like, head out of the way to, like, get to the food. And, like, when I was... Like, when we were done feeding them, like, they were definitely, like, grunting, like... Like, in their... Like, not being satisfied. Like, I want more. <laughs> um, But the guy was... Like, the guy was also, like, really funny. He's like, no, you're done. Like, stop. Oh. Um, I am glad you had that experience. Yeah. Like, I'm going to come out and we're going to find, like, an alpaca farm and I'm going to take you to, a, like, an alpaca farm. It's going to be fun. I'm totally down for the next alpaca farm. Okay. It's going to... We'll have some fun. Um, but, yeah. Like, there was just everything on the farm. Wow. Do they sell the animals? Could you buy an alpaca? No. That's the one thing that they don't sell. Okay. Yeah, like, that... Like, I mean, well, and also, like, you... I, I can't blame them because that's where... If you buy an alpaca then they don't have the wool yeah that would take their whole supply away okay yeah i mean like they do and they like they do breeding like three of the alpacas were actually pregnant when we were there so like that's kind of how they started like 10 15 years ago they just started breeding so like that's kind of how they get more so is the wool different on a pregnant alpaca uh no um okay like you can't like it was, again what he was telling me like you can breed like breed to get a certain type of wool um off of the alpacas but like he has a very specific like weight and fiber um that you want to go to because like he's telling me if it's too fine you have to mix it with something else in order to get yarn got it or because else... the length would be too short yeah so like you like um uh, like so like there's a very fine i kind of forget what he was saying but like it was a very fine like line of like where he was going for so he just he just sits right in that line and he's very happy with what he gets so um it was also i forgot it was, if it was on the roving that i got you but on the yarn that i got they actually put the names of the alpacas that you got the yarn <laughs> Um, and it was great. If you watch the video I did about the farm, like, he actually points out, he pointed out the two alpacas, so, like, I did the, like, the end of my video, like, in front of, the, uh, it was, like, Snickerdoodle and, like, Tootsie or something. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's so, perfect. Yeah, like, it was definitely, like, a lot of fun, like, and kind of exciting with the fact that, like, he's like, that's where I got my yarn, like, right there. I have pictures. I am so totally sold to spin up Snickerdoodle. <laughs> yeah, so like once you get the fiber and everything, you ha I want updates and I want to see yeah. like. But unboxing, we'll have all of it. Yeah, like I I'm kind of intrigued to see what your perspective of it is because like I've never like you've spun with me. <laughs> I have spun with you. Yeah, but so... I've never. So this is a brand new thing. You've never done a pack, or you've just done like wool from. I've done wool and I've done silk and I have done uh, like blends, but I've never done a hundred percent alpaca. Oh, that's interesting. It will be new to me. Okay. So yeah, like I want a full like report, like if you like it at all or. Oh, I'll think... love it. <laughs> I will love it. Well, I, I want to hear about like the differences between like, like alpaca and like silk or something. Oh, I will tell you, I will tell you the differences. Okay. I'm ready. I'm Me ready for this. Me too. So probably once you get back, it will be at your place. So I am thrilled. We are back on Wednesday and I will be ready to film a video on first impressions. Excellent. That'll be next week. All right. On that note, I will see you later. Bye. Bye.